So this transmitter is pretty amazing, so I'm going to turn it on. I've got both of these planes in here. Okay, first thing it's doing is warning me that I've got in low power mode because I have both of these transmitting in low power mode because obviously I'm standing right next to them. And you push any button. And the cool thing is you can have it put up this pre-flight checklist for each model airplane. So right now this is for the S720. So this is my pre-flight check checklist. And I use it as just a reminder because um, I've got so many settings uh, and more to do actually on this plane. So like switch SA, oh here, switch SA is mixes on and off because on this plane I've got a, an elevator mix to go slight down elevator on full power. And SE gives me time remaining, I'll show you all that. This one is throttle on off, this one is to reset the timers, um, and then I've got, right now I've got low, medium, and high rates, but instead of having it set on a switch, I've got to set on these buttons. There's actually six buttons on top of all these switches, which are all three position switches. And on top of this button here, which I added myself from a kit, uh, which is a momentary contacts, which that's another switch you can use. And these sliders on the side are other sliders you can use. And each one of these things is a switch essentially. Um, these are trims obviously but these ones are extra. So it's got a ton of switches. So I'm using these right now for um, low, medium and high rates at the moment. So you push this button and then you go into the flight mode. So it, sees, it says S720, picture of the airplane and it shows you aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. So you can see there's the aileron, throttle, I have off right now elevator and rudder and these are the trim positions the trim show up down here and then this time in my battery is at 8.2 volts transmitter battery and that's my battery indicator the date and time and then this button you push and now I go to a timers page so on this plane I've got the battery timer set for four minutes but in addition to that countdown timer for four minutes, I've got a count up timer to see how much time I actually flew. And then this is a total timer, which gives, it's a cumulative. It tells me the number of hours that I fly on the airplane forever, which is really cool. And then go back to the main one. So this, if I connect the battery on this one, I can show you quickly the controls. Hopefully you can see this. So the, on low rates, that's the elevator, rudder, ailerons. Now listen, if I push on medium rates. Medium rate. Medium rates. Hope you can see this in the video. And if I push the high rates. High rate. That's really high. I, I don't know if I'd ever use that for a maneuver. That's, full ailerons. Now of course the throttle is throttle active. Now it's active. And I actually for the hell of it I put my throttle on Expo also um, to make it sm smoother at the low end the first third of the stick um, so it's easier to land without it ballooning when I jog the throttle. I'm going to try that. And I've got Expo on all the control surfaces as well. Um, you know, I, I had to experiment with the Expo. Uh, so that's that plane. Now let me disconnect this guy. So you heard. Throttle cut. Throttle cut. Mixes off. Mixes off. Mixes off. Mixes on. Mixes on. Mixes is the elevator mixed with the throttle. Mixes and this is the reset timer button. Timer's reset. All right. Um, and I've got I've got this program again. These switches are a hundred percent programmable. 
there's even a, there's all there's even crazy advanced functions you can program onto these switches. So I've got this one set for volume of the audio, and this one set for brightness of the screen. So you can program these to, to do almost anything you want. So now let's try this one. So now I'm going to switch models. I'm going to switch models to this model. So you push on this button, select model, and here's the 7920. I'm going to select it. It's warning me about low power mode again. And here's my checklist for that model. All right, so this is this model now. I'm going to plug in the battery on this one. All right, now this one is cool because, so first of all, I get the same low rate, medium rate, high rates. So this is low rates. And I have no idea. I haven't flown this one yet. And then I'll just go right to high rates. I mean, that's high rates. That's, that's as much as I can get out of the elevator. And the rudder also, it's crazy. And then the ailerons. So about a 35 to 40 degrees is the most I could get out of these ailerons. These foam planes are not that great. I mean, they're not precision. So I can't get much more than that. And again, the, so the same controls pretty much, the throttles on and off, throttle active, throttle, active, throttle cut. Throttle cut. Um, I don't have mixes on this one, so that does nothing. But then look at this cool switch, watch this. Flaps on. Flaps on. How cool is that? And I still get my controls. Let's go to medium. Medium rate. Now watch this. That's flaps. Spoilers on. Spoilers. Spoilers. Flaps on. Flaps. Flaps and spoilers off. And off. And if you notice, they're slow. I programmed that purposely. You, every single control on this transmitter, you, there's an option to make it go immediate or slow. So that was purposely programmed slow. And right now I don't have any mixing with the flaps on the elevator because I'm not sure how I'm going to use the flaps. Supposedly you can use flaps and the, and the spoilers for the, this Harrier maneuver in 3D. Not really to land, although I, I may use the flaps to land, but you use it with, for this Harrier maneuver. So in that case, I probably don't want to program any mixing with the elevator. But for landing, I probably do want to program down elevator when the flaps go on. So I'll just have to experiment with that. Or, or I might have to put program a separate button for landing flaps as opposed to 3D maneuver flaps, if that makes any sense. But look at this. Here's the, the same timers. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm guessing five minutes, but it's just a guess. But then watch this. Look at that. 11.6 volts. That's the receiver battery. 72 degrees is the receiver battery. How cool is that? Real time receiver voltage and temperature, battery temperature. I mean, that is just freaking awesome. And I've got uh, Expo set up on this throttle also. Plus, I discovered a very interesting thing. On this transmitter, you can control, you know, obviously all the channels. You can control the output of each channel, that where it starts, how much, if it's positive and negative 100, the value and everything. So on these, on both of these planes, they're originally set so that I had a lot of movement at the bottom of the stick, much more than I currently have before before they even moved at all, before I got any throttle at all. It was kind of sloppy. So I tweaked the output. Like if you see here on the throttle, it says minus 60, not uh, minus 100, So, which is normal. So I tweaked it so that uh, this, 
the throttle starts at a very small stick movement at the bottom because before I like basically now I, I need to go about there to forget just the throttle start before I had to go like all the way up here so I tweaked it and then I also tweaked the high end because I found that I was not sending up the signal I was sending to the motor escape uh, the uh, it's electronic speed control rather was not giving it full power so I slightly tweaked the output channel going to the throttle on both of them to give me about another 50 or so 100 RPMs of power and I just have to hope that it doesn't burn the ESC out or the motor but I, I doubt it so um, that I discovered almost by accident so anyway that's it that's the new transmitter.